What's happening YouTube? Bickford's RS3 here. Well, not today. Today's the S5. We're gonna do a review, finally. It's been a long time, two years. Uh, we got it at 170,000. It's almost at 190, so put about 20,000 on it. It is the V6 supercharged, three liter. Uh, all wheel drive, obviously, it's an Audi, and it has the seven speed DSG. Uh, it came wrapped in this gorgeous blue. Unfortunately, we got side swipe, so it will be changing. Uh, we have a carbon fiber hood on it. It came with the honeycomb, which is beautiful. Also has a carbon fiber spoiler. We're looking for a diffuser to slap on there, make it more aggressive. Uh, blacked out S5 badge, blacked out tail lights. We do have uh, spacers on the OEM rims to bring out the fitment, but it didn't cut it. We got 10s on the front, 10 mil, 15 on the back. Still need a little bit more, so we're looking at aftermarket rims. And uh, it's it's been great. It's been a great car. Um, minor maintenance things. We did a wheel bearing. That's on the channel. You can check that out. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's a, it was a little rusty. Uh, it did have a little bit of a stiff steering when we first got it. So replaced the interme intermediate steering shaft. And that helped. But coming out of winter, we uh, realized the steering rack had went bad. Because unfortunately someone zip tied the tie rod boot on there so snow and moisture got in there and destroyed it so replaced it $400 um, junkyard or used wasn't too bad it was only like six bolts uh, Jesse did it herself so points on Jesse um, we did eventually have to get some brakes so we threw some I think it's EBC uh, drilled and slotted rotors it does have some nice carbon fiber inlays on it, stock. So it had a nice um, package when it was bought. Um, there's the seven speed DSG, some nice carbon fiber. The MMI is a little outdated. It is 10 years old, but it still, it still connects fairly fast. And you know, you can go through all your Spotify playlists and um, yeah, we'll probably go for a little bit of a drive. You can listen to the supercharger whine. That is one of the best characteristics of this car. And it's also smooth as all hell. It's so much better than the RS3. My RS3 is stiff. It's like a race car. And this is uh, premium. It's so nice. Anyways, we'll jump in the driver's seat, go for a drive. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so you want to get an S4 or an S5? Well, let's go for a drive and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons. One of the pros, supercharger. This is one of the pros. They do come in manual, so if you could get a manual, that would be awesome. Uh, previous to the 2014 models, they did have mechatronic issues, so be wary of that if you are looking for an S4 or an S5. getting power out of them super easy stage one is easy 90 to 100 horsepower uh, going stage two requires heat exchanger some test pipes and um, some pulleys and you're going stage two stage two plus probably 550 oh there's my buddy I'm sure I've seen them. Another pro is uh, 
how smooth this car drives compared to the RS3. Super smooth, very luxurious. Um, no complaints from the suspension. We are on snow tires, so it is a little bit more soft than usual. But uh, once we get the rims and some nice tires, uh, it'll be nice and sticky for some 0 to 60s and some draggy times. Which this landed about a 3.7 0 to 60, which is pretty good stock. My S3 only did a 5.1, so very good. 333 horsepower, about 324 foot-pounds of torque at a very low RPM of like 2,900 or 2,400. So the torque comes on super early, which is amazing and feels amazing compared to like a turbocharger, which is a little bit of, a little bit laggy. Um, revs out to about 64. When you get tuned, it goes right up to 7,400 RPM. So you can really hear the supercharger scream. And then also the DSG likes to do some farts when you shift and it also sounds amazing. Um, some things to watch out for are common things for Audi. So your PVC, your water pump, thermostat, usually when it, Whenever you pull the supercharger off, people replace those and also do a carbon clean, which is around like 100,000 miles, maybe 150,000 miles. Uh, as you can see, we are at 190,000 kilometers. So I believe most of the preventative maintenance has been done on this car. Uh, supercharger pulley belts look uh, brand new. Uh, we did do transmission and an oil service. We also did spark plugs uh, at 180,000 kilometers. So all the maintenance is up to date. So we will be going stage one and or stage two, depending on um, the cats. The cats are a little stinky, even though we're stock. So um, you, might have, you might have a video on here with uh, me struggling, trying to do some test pipes. So if you're not ripping on it too much, listen to that supercharger, it's actually pretty good on gas. We managed to get it down to 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers on a only 45 minute, maybe hour road trip, which is really good. My RS3 is terrible on gas. Uh, the closest I got was maybe a nine uh, nine liters to 100 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles per gallon. You'll have to do a conversion. I'll put it on screen, like right there. Cut. Fuck. So if you're not ripping on it, always listening to the supercharger. This car is actually really good on gas. Um, we managed to. Damn it! I said, oh my god.